I don't know who Bobby on Facebook is, but there's been this sweet sentiment going around. I've seen posted a few times and it's, if art is how we decorate space, then music is how we decorate time. And I love that music, a way to decorate time. I love music. I am a firm believer in music education and how we should be getting our children involved in music and doing all of these amazing things that we need to keep it in the schools, that we let's keep the arts alive. Like I really do. I love this. And so today what I want to do is show you three more easy do-it-yourself musical instruments that you can make at home. Hi, and welcome to Learning Life. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love music. I really do. And, you know, it's always been part of my life. It's pretty much part of every day. And, you know, I just think that it is so important that we have it, that music education is vital. And there are so many different ways that we can do it and we can be involved. And it is just really something that I adore. And I want to make some instruments today. And you know what makes me happy beyond music and reading books is also the fact that you are liking and subscribing. So thank you for doing that. And if you like these videos, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We need to have music in school. There is so much that we can learn from music. There really is. And I'm not just talking about like being part of a team and listening to others when it comes to like bands and orchestras and choirs. You know, we we need that and that's such a great thing to learn. It is also, you know, how to listen and how to feel and express and just really appreciate. And of course, there's also that math correlation, which is just truly really wonderful. Now, one of the great ways that we can do it is introducing it to our children at home. And now I did a video showing you some simple, easy do-it-yourself instruments. And, you know, people are like, oh, we've got some more. I'm like, yes, let's make some more. And so that's what I want to do today. These are all things that I had around the house. And, you know, maybe you don't have everything, but they're all inexpensive to find. And what a great way that we can make this and then just have our own little family bands. Um, I know my girls have been running around playing with these and just loving them. We've been having a great time singing and playing. Here we go. The first one is an easy little harmonica. All you need is some pop sticks, paper, toothpicks and some rubber bands okay and it just teaches about the vibration that happens in music <laughs> and so we've been making these and, and playing around with these at home this is how you make them all you need are two pop sticks you'll also need a strip of paper that is about the width and just a little bit shorter than the pop sticks and we just put one on top of the other and then the pop stick on top. Get a rubber band and secure it around the end. You wanna make it nice and tight, just really secure it. When you have that, get a toothpick and then slide it through to the end. Now I like the first toothpick to just go under the paper all the way down to the end. So we're seeing we're getting this happening. And now we're just going to put one at the other end I like to do it on top of the paper. So you've got one above and one below and secure it with another rubber band. Look how easy this is. Yes, you can do it. And then because we don't want any children impaling themselves on pop sticks, you can cut, but I find it's just um, toothpicks, not pop sticks. We can just break off the ends um, or cut them off. So look at that. And now we have a harmonica. You can blow. <laughs> And it's teaching the paper to vibrate. Oh, teaching the paper. It's making the paper vibrate. So look at that. A simple, easy harmonica. Look how quick that was. Another fun one. The castanets. You know, castanets are things that we can click together. Otherwise known as clackers. If, you know, some kids will call them that. Again, super easy to make. But look at that. You're making music. And you can dance and you can sing. All you need is some heavy card. Use an old cardboard box. All I did was get them and cut them into strips. These are about five inches by just over, I don't really know. I just sort of measured off my ruler and um, let's do it. And then what we're gonna do is just fold it in half. 
and it's a little thick, so it's always a little harder. Now I like to round off the edges. You don't have to, but we're putting the bottle caps on inside and they're round and it just sort of, I think, gives it a bit of a nicer feel. So here we go. Just a nice little V, rounded edges. We're gonna need two bottle caps. We happen to have some bottle caps around um, unused because my husband brews beer. He now doesn't bottle it. So we've got some leftover caps, but amazing things you can do with caps. And all we wanna do is glue them on the inside. Now I'm gonna use hot glue because I am a hot glue girl and it just it's quick and easy like the way that it sets and it will hold tight. Um, you can use, you need to use a heavy duty glue if you're not going to use hot glue. But I'm just gonna put that on and stick on my bottle cap like so. Okay, and do the other side. Nice globs of glue, that's what we like. So once we have them in there, they're just gonna dry and set. Okay, and decorate the outside. Get your markers. Decorate them however you want to. With these ones, we did some lines and sort of followed a few little like sort of tribal things, dots. You know, however it is that you want, once you've got it, you've got your castanets. Isn't that great? Again, quick and easy. Now the third one is a tambourine. Love tambourines, you know, it makes you think of all those bands, you know, that little backup singer with the tambourine. Well, here's a simple, easy one. Now I do have jingle bells at home. You don't have to have jingle bells, but you know what? You can pick these up at dollar stores really easily. Two paper plates, a bit of rice or dried beans. I have rice on the inside only because I didn't have dried beans. Some jingle bells and some string. And so this is what we do. We're going to get one of our plates and I'm just going to put some rice in here. You don't need a lot. Now you can use dried beans. I didn't have any dried beans at home, so that's why I'm using rice. Uh, dried beans, usually a bit less mess if we have an explosion. And I'm going to hot glue just around the edge to seal it up, um, especially if it's rice. You don't want um, your rice sort of escaping everywhere. It just sort of then makes a mess. Is that really what we want? Um, I'm not afraid of messes, but if we can avoid it, we can, likewise, if you don't have hot glue, you can just use other glue and then staple around. So I'm just gonna hot glue around and stick the other plate on top and seal it up. Okay, just work your way around. Um, don't have hot glue, just staple around. Tape, whatever it is that you have. Like this is the great thing. Just use what you have at home. I've got a hole punch, so I'm just gonna actually punch five holes around. If you don't have a hole punch, use a knife. So kids, if you don't have a hole punch, let your mom or dad help you. Let the grown up at home help you, because you don't really wanna be punching a hole into things you don't need a hole in. So I have my five holes. And now I'm gonna do is I'm going to thread some jingle bells onto string and then tie them at each of the holes and now to thread five jingle bells. Now, you might be wondering like, do I really wanna to go to all this effort to have fun? Yes, because music education is important. We want our children to have these experiences. And you know what, it is true. You can um, buy some inexpensive instruments and if you can't, you know, do it. But sometimes half the fun is actually making them yourselves. Um, I know my girls, they've loved the hand drums that we've made. They've been loving their harmonicas, or harmonicas as they call it. Um, the castanets, this is for them, like it's just something that you make yourself is just even more special. And so I'm just tying the jingle bells, threading the string through and just tying them through the hole. Now, while I'm doing this, let's get back and talk about music education. I think it's wonderful. I think that we should all have it. I think that we should stop cutting the funding to the arts in schools because our kids need it. It's just, oh. Honestly, it was the best part of like my school career, I think, was music. Um, I was heavily involved in bands. And just also think that, um, you know, there are so many different ways that we can get our children involved in music. Maybe it is singing at home. And there's so many great shows that you can find um, that will have songs that you can sing along. Um, you know, I do always encourage that if you have the capability, 
get your children um, some music lessons. Even six months is good. Now, you might not have the finances to do that, and I get that, but why not look around on YouTube? There are some great tutorials that your children just have the opportunity to try. Now, there are some easy instruments uh, for children to learn. Oh, uh, do not start them on the violin. Not an easy instrument to learn, but instruments like the ukulele. Uh, it is easy for children to learn. And, you know, you can master it with some good practice. Then there's things like the piano. And that's great for teaching, you know, the two hands just working, you know, separately. Um, but together to make beautiful music. Bongos are great, you know, the two little hand drums. And even a xylophone. Just simple, easy instruments that your children um, can learn. Now, I've got the jingle bells because I'd cut all the strings. But cut all the strings and then again I'd get markers to decorate or stickers or paint, however you want to. This one, it's got a pretty flower. But look, we've got our little tambourine. So a tambourine, a castanet, and a harmonica, quick and easy to make. Like, isn't that amazing? Like, don't we just love that we can do something so simple? You know, go, have fun, enjoy. And remember, music is how we decorate time. So go and decorate it together. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that this maybe inspires you to go and have some fun and make some musical instruments. They were quick, easy, inexpensive to do. And now we can have fun as our family band, as we sing along, we can practice rhythm and just get that hand and the eye moving and, and all of that. So thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoy these videos and would like to see more, perhaps you could join us as a champion through Patreon. You can check that out at patreon.com or check out our website for these videos and more and the little tutorials of what you need at learningthis.life.